Well, hello there, everybody. It is Blake. Welcome back to another super exciting, spectacular, fun Halloween hunting video. If you came here because of the title, welcome to my channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you click wherever that subscribe button is around me. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified every time that I post new videos. There's tons of fun, spectacular, awesome Halloween content coming up in the next few months. Since Halloween is coming, you guys, it's going to be here sooner than we know it. And I'm so excited because I live Halloween every single day. But for all the regular folks out there that are just getting into it because of the stuff that's coming into stores, they are getting excited as much as me. So I am so, so, so looking forward to going Halloween hunting today. We are going to hit up a few stores. We're going to a mall. We're going to another mall. We're going to some other stores. So it's going to be a fun day full of different Halloween shopping adventures. We're going to hit up Michael's. We're going to hit up HomeSense. We're going to hit up Bath & Body Works, maybe two Bath & Body Works. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. We have like a free day to kind of just do some fun Halloween hunting of things and I'm really looking forward to it because Bath & Body Works recently got in, of course, as we all know, their whole new like Halloween collection, just part one of it because part two is coming soon, but um, I'm excited to see it like in person and if we hit up the two different Bath & Body Works stores, we're able to see like what's different between the two of them and what they have versus like what they don't have and stuff. So I'm excited for that. We'll have to see where the day takes us. So come along with us as we go on this fun Halloween hunting journey to see what we can find today. So we have just arrived here at our first stop of the day. We are at a Michaels store and this is a different Michaels than the one that we usually come to because we are on our way down to the city. So we're gonna head in here and see if there's any fun Halloween stuff. There was just a few fall things when we were at the one in Pit Meadows last week. So who knows what will actually be here today. This is a brand new Michaels for us to be exploring at the Halloween early season. So let's head in and see what they have here. Here we go. So right here, as soon as you enter the doors, they have this little setup of the Ashland Halloween stuff that we already saw at our other Michael's store. So let's explore and see if there's anything else different because we've already been through all this. They have a bunch of fall florals over there. Oh, there's a bag or a basket of pumpkins right over here. This is cute. Hey, pumpkins. We love you. I guess this is our seasonal section as of right now, but they haven't really switched it over to fall. They just kind of have it in the center aisles. So there's some fall stuff here, some fall stuff there, a bunch of fall stuff here. It's all buy one, get one free now, which they typically do like early on in the season, I guess. And then at the very end when everything is like cleared out. But like I said, we've already been through the majority of all this stuff. So you guys have probably all seen that. There's all this stuff here, which is a pumpkin patch, fall, tailgating. Oh, there's, there's the brooms. They have the brooms inside a pail here. A big faux wooden box. Love that. We already have our Hocus Pocus brooms. I saw the pumpkins. They're great. What else? Is that it here? So we just finished up inside Michael's. Nothing new or exciting, unfortunately, but I mean, that's pretty much what it is at all the Michael's stores that we've been to so far. So we're going to head over to the mall now and go check out a Bath & Body Works. This is going to be our first one that we're seeing in stores now with a new Halloween setup. Hopefully they have it there. We haven't been to this one yet. So we're going to head into Bath & Body Works and see if they have their Halloween stuff set up. Here we go inside Bath & Body. A Halloween tree, you say? Yeah. Here is the little Halloween setup. It looks so cute, you guys. Like I said, this is our first time seeing it here in person in stores since when we came on Sunday. None of this was set up. So, but of course, this is a different store than the one we were at on Sunday as well. So it's a little different, but... They have the crystal skull that we already got. They have all the candles, which we didn't actually see when we were here the other day. I never saw Ghoul Friend. So Ghoul Friend is dark strawberry, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus, which is nice. They have the sanitizers, they have soaps. They have the Wicked Apple Hand Soap, which is ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. And the candle for that smells absolutely incredible. I showed that one in my other video and it smelled like um, literally like the caramel apple lollipop. So they're so good. They have this cute little bag, which I do want. Like, I don't know what I would need it for, but it's really, really cute. And then Vampire Blood, Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Bloomy Jasmine, Dark Transylvanian Plum. Mm. So there's the soaps, there's the foam soap and the gel soap. Then here on this side, we have the other stuff. So there's the cute little bat guys. I already got him and him. And again, the crystal skull. There's a little display of the Haunted Nights, which is supposed to smell like the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. And then they have all the wallflower plugins. So there's this chandelier one, which I didn't get. Does this actually have an electrical current in it to plug in? Not really, no, okay. They have more of the crystal ball ones. They have the wallflower scents, so cool friend. Wicked Apple and Vampire Blood for the wallflower scents. We have a bunch more of the house, which is super duper cute. I'm surprised these haven't sold out yet. It's wild. They have 
a bunch of these neon ghosts which people have been going crazy for, but I already got mine of that as well. And they have the pumpkin carving candle, which is a great scent. Love that one so much. It's like classic pumpkin-y. They have these cute uh, single wick candles of vampire blood. So this is the male version of that. They also have a female one too. What else is new? They don't have the, um, the ghost candle holders yet, which I do really want. They have this cute little stand, which is the one thing that they had at the Bath & Body Works on Sunday night when I came and I didn't end up getting it. And I didn't end up getting that wallflower plug in the chandelier one, but um, yeah, it's cute. I don't need it, but it is cute. Well, they have uh, these sanitizer holders. So again, I got off these as well. So there's a the little kitty. And then they have this little lanyard light up pumpkin one. The pumpkin, there we go, lights up like that. But I already got both of those. So it's a cute little setup, I like it. Here are these other little fall kind of uh, wallflower plugins here. So there's this one, which they don't light up on display, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. It looks like it has like fiber optic little strands in it for it to light up really pretty. And then there's this little fall pumpkin. You know, just a cute extra little fall moment for those. And I don't think that I need anything else from this collection today, but we may see another Bath & Body Works today as well, so who knows? We found this cute little section here of all the Halloween soaps that they have in so far. So there's Perfect Pumpkin Foaming, Ghoul Friend Foaming, Wicked Apple Foaming, the Vampire Blood Gel, Ghoul Friend Gel, and the Wicked Apple Gel. And they have this new Happy Halloween scent, which is Candy Corn Marshmallow, and that sounds like it's right up my alley. The scents in it are Mysterious Marshmallow, Fluff, <laughs> Candy Corn, and Sweet Orange. Ooh, that's fun. So I'm gonna have to take a smell of that one, and I'm gonna have Pumpkin, Ghoul Friend, Vampire Blood, and Wicked Apple. So I'm really excited for this. They also have body care of this coming out. I don't see it here so far, but I'm really excited for the body care. There's a little body lotion and uh, body wash of that scent. What terrible overhead lighting. Anyways, we are still here inside the mall. We finished up with Bath & Body Works. There was nothing like crazy new or anything that we needed. I'm gonna wait for the candle sale to get any of the candles and soaps and stuff as well. Like the soaps are always five for 25 normally, but I'm sure that there will be like a soap sale coming up at some point. So I'll wait for those since those usually stick around for quite a while. And the candles I'm not too worried about. They have tons in and I'll wait until they actually go on like a candle sale as well. Um, but other than that, there was no new like decor or anything that we still haven't seen. So we'll check out the other Bath & Body Works later on in the video. But we're right now in the food court here. We just sat down, got something to eat. Um, I mean, delicious KFC Taco Bell. Y'all want to call me a copycat? Here I have a Mountain Dew Baja Blast as well. Just like everyone's fave, Jay the Libra. I'm not crazy about this. I don't know. It's not my jam, but I figured I'd try it. Haven't had it in a while. Taco Bell was like the only place here in Canada, at least, that I knew of that actually had Baja Blast as like a drink. And now that like half of the Taco Bells have closed down throughout the pandemic, it's like not typically available normally anyways, but they still have it there at the KFC in the food court. So I was like, let me get a Baja Blast so I can be like everyone else's favorite spooky ghouls here on YouTube. And you know, I'm, it's, it's all right. I'm not crazy, but I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy about the drink, so. Um, yeah, anyways, we're gonna eat some food and check out a couple more stores here before heading out to another mall. It's great. So we just finished up inside that mall there. We went to the store Mind Games and I got a cute little toy that I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna do a cute little mid-video unboxing for you. This is the Funko Soda Pop things. This is the very first one I've ever bought, but it's Scooby-Doo. It's the werewolf from Scooby-Doo. This is what he supposedly looks like. There's a terrible glare because of the sun, but that's fine. And there's also a chase version of him, which we think is a glow-in-the-dark variant, but we don't really know. Limited to 7,500 pieces. Let me pop off the plastic for you guys so I can open it up and see which one we got. Okay, so I got this lid twisted off, you guys. This was so hard to open. I don't even know how people deal with these things, but got the lid off. It's inside a cute little black bag in here, which, oh my gosh, is like squishy. It's like wrapped in bubble wrap or something inside here. This is my very first Funko soda pop can thing that I've got, so I've never actually felt like this. But you have one. Was there bubble wrap in it before? I don't that you remember. remember. That's really weird. Let's open it up now and see which one it is. Is there bubble? Yeah, there is bubble wrap. That's so strange. This is, I think this is just the regular. This looks very much to be like the regular one. They're very large. I didn't realize that it was maybe that big. That's cute. He is so cute, you guys. I love him. Oh my gosh. He is so much fun. He's definitely one of my favorite Scooby-Doo villains. Throwing it all the way back to the OG 60s series. He's cute. And then inside of this can, there is also this little like pog thing. If you guys remember Pogs back in the 90s, I don't know if some of you guys might be too young for that, but it's a, like a little cardboard Pog basically, and it says 
Werewolf, one out of 6,250. Wait, what? The can says limited edition of 7,500, so, and this says 6,250. What's the truth? I'm confused. I don't know what that means. Is this? No, this isn't the Chase one. I have no idea, you guys. If y'all know, leave a comment down below and let me know what the difference between this number and the number on the can is, because they're obviously two very different numbers, but we love him anyway, he's cute. Okay, you guys, so we have arrived at the next mall here, Bath and Body Works behind me. Look at this cute little Halloween sign there. The other Bath and Body Works didn't have that little sign, so let's go in and see what Halloween goodies this Bath and Body Works has. We're doing a full Bath and Body Works set today, apparently. Look how cute that is. The Halloween shop is now open. This is their Halloween set up here. Celebrate fall with beautiful fragrances. Is there a Halloween sign on the other side? Nope, they don't even have a Halloween imagery, but that's okay. So, same deal here. They just have the exact same stuff as the other one. Nothing different or new. They have more of these bags. I didn't get it the other one. I don't really like need it. I just thought it was so cute with the bats, but maybe later on throughout the season I'll get it. They have the uh, soap again, the new candy corn marshmallow soap. This is the ghoul friend version of the single wick candle, so it looks like the same idea as the vampire blood. So see they're like the male and female cameos. So cute, but this one is the ghoul friend scent, not the same as the vampire blood. They do have these at this store though, which they didn't at the other ones. These are the happy Halloween shower gel and body lotion. This is the vampire blood scent. So I thought that it would be the candy corn marshmallow again since it's the same packaging as the soap but it is just the vampire blood scent for those minis and then this is this side of it super cute again all the exact same stuff as the other one nothing different nothing new but still really really fun i can't wait for wave two to come out so we can see all the other stuff it's so dark in this section of the mall um we finished over at bath and body works they didn't really have anything new or exciting there either unfortunately but we are going to head into the home sense here and see if they have any fun fall decor stuff don't know if they will if they did um, I mean, it's a mall location, so it might be picked over already. If there's like big Halloween fans out here, I'm not 100% sure, but let's go see if there is anything at all. This is the only fall thing they have. This interesting rock geometric $25 pumpkin. Yes. Hold up, you guys. We were just walking through the exit and saw these cute towels. These are from Lunaville. I've never heard of this brand before, but maybe it's like a home sense thing. Spooky treats. Oh my God, there's a recipe for kink on here too. What? That's so cute. So there's this ghost black and white striped one, and then these little witch ones. I think I'm gonna grab both. They're so cute. Love them. They are $9.99 each. So we just popped into Toys R Us here to see if they had anything fun, and as soon as we walked in, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Best of both worlds plan. Hey everyone, it's Thursday. I just got vaccinated. I'm a Pfizer boy, yay. We just finished up at the vaccination clinic here inside of this little mall. And they have a dollar store. And I was like, I wanna check out the dollar store. Let's see what's inside. So I mean, first of all, excuse the fact that I look horrible. Anyways, we are, yes, here inside the dollar store now and they have some fall and Halloween stuff. I'm gonna show you guys because it's not what I was expecting. It's kinda cute and I'm like, I want some, so let me show you what they have. So starting back here, there's some cute little fall floral bundles. How much are these? I think the store, like everything is either $1.25 or $1.50, which is great because it's not like one of those dollar stores where everything's like $20. So there's some fall floral stuff up there. There's a whole bunch of like crazy, horrible summery stuff. And then there's some other fall floral stuff here, like decorative meshes, some of these cute little signs that are like the same kind of idea. No, nope, this is not a sign. What is this? Oh, this is a little like gift box or something? I thought it was one of those signs that looks like the same kind from Michael's, but it's not. They also have cute little fall, oh my god, what are those like spooky town stuff? Yeah. You can make like a little fall fairy garden. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through this box and see what they have in here. A little like fall lantern, a little windmill. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I don't think they'll match as much of the Spooky Town scale stuff as some of the other things that I've seen, but a few of these pieces could actually be really cute. Like this is adorable. Love that little like hay bale thing, whatever that is. I don't even know. They have a whole bunch of fall confettis and mini pumpkins, some foam crafts and felt leaves. I love these leaves for like decorating tables and centerpieces and stuff, just like regular fall stuff. And they have these little pails, these little spooky, stay spooky pail. That's cute. And then this little one is pumpkins. Happy fall. There's a whole bunch of ribbons, some pretty decorative clip flowers, which are nice. So that's more like the fall vibe. And then there's some other pumpkin stuff here, some sunflowers. I guess, I mean, sunflowers seem like such a fall thing now because I've seen so much in like the fall decoration sections at different stores. 
Yeah, it's like going from summer to fall to Halloween. It's like, let's use sunflowers for that. I guess they do bloom like now kind of thing. Oh, look at these. This is cute. Heirloom variety pumpkin, classic jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Love that. Then they have some of these little signs here. It's harvest blessings. Wait, what? Why is the pumpkin upside down? Oh my gosh, this one is made wrong. That's so sad. If you do it like the right way, hang it the right way, harvest blessings is upside down. Thanks. Oh well. Um, and then here is a, a few more fall items. Again, this stuff looks very similar to the stuff that you can find at Michael's, but like obviously for a fraction of the price. Like some of these things look very similar. This is actually like tin, like metal signs, like red track. All that fall stuff that I loved at Michael's was a lot of it was red track. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's printed terribly. I mean, that one specifically. That's okay though. We can't all be winners. Then they have these cute little pumpkin things down here. Oh, these salt and pepper shakers are so cute. These little squirrels. Love that. And there's these pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. Love that. There's some owls, some like acorns and um, pine cones. Little metal, or no, I guess it's a glass, glass pieces. Is this a candle or is this just a jar? These are cute, these little jars. Love that. But like something like this is like $14.99 at Michael's. And this is $1.25 here, so insane. They have these little like blown glass pumpkins. Super cute. Then there's these, I guess these are window clings kind of. It's like a little window decal type thing. Some other fun fall decor. I love it all. Then there's even more fall decor over here. These are like those little signs from Michael's. Okay, the little like wooden signs. I mean, I love these at Michael's, they're amazing. But I guess if you can get the same kind of idea for $1.25 at the dollar store, it's definitely worth it. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like a blank little board that you can make your own little welcome sign on. I wanted to do one of those and then make the O into a pumpkin for the front door because I thought that'd be really cute. But I mean, I could definitely just get one of these and make it. But I could definitely just get one of these and make a smaller one if I want to. And then they have some other little like clay pumpkins, some corns down here, some little decorative corn cobs, some other pumpkins, farm fresh fall gathered together. It's cute. Then on this end cap here, there's a whole bunch of like fall kitchenware stuff, which is actually really fun. So there's some pot holders. There's these really pretty little owl dishes that actually look really nice. And for $1.25, I feel like that's definitely a cute little piece. It's like a spoon rest or like put your tea bags in when you're having tea or something, or as like a tea spoon rest. Like those are really cute. Definitely a good piece. They have these little green gourd looking pumpkins here that are fun. They have some just plastic tablecloths. They have these acrylic plastic cups hello fall love autumn leaves and pumpkins please these little mini like pillow thingies whatever those are those are fun there's some plastic coffee cups i don't know how well this would be for actual hot beverages travel mug it says okay we'll have to see and then some like plates and mugs and bowls are these just acrylic as well oh these are actual glass bowls those are a nice size that's actually a cute little bowl I wish it had like pumpkins or something on it because then that'd be obviously a little bit more Halloween-y, but the fall leaves are pretty. And then here is the explicitly actual Halloween stuff. So there's some of these wooden things that you can paint. They're just like a little carved out pieces of wood that you can paint and decorate yourself. There's a cute little black cat. There's this one that's wicked with a broom and a witch hat. There's happy Halloween. Some jack-o'-lanterns some bats. There's a ghost. I'm choking. Um, there's a jack-o'-lantern down here. What's this? This is a witch stirring a cauldron, which we love. There's these cute little wooden house stands that you can decorate, and some jack o and some pumpkins, and ghosties. And there's some of these foam craft kits. I used to love getting these for Michaels when I was younger too, and again, they were like crazily overpriced, but they're just fun little crafts for here at the dollar store, so. Some spiders, these are some zipper seal bags. There's 30 of these, so if you want to do some like trick-or-treating bags instead of just giving out individual pieces of candy, those are really cute, a little haunted house moment. And they have this felt craft kit. This cat has seen better days, obviously, but <laughs> its body is a little dirty. And they have like an owl. What's back there? There's a pumpkin. Back here looks like it's gonna be a ghost. Oh no, it's a skeleton. My bad, sorry, Mr. Skeleton. Then there is some wreath hangers here in purple and black, which are good. Ooh, this one, oh, I thought it was glittery because it felt glittery, but it's just a weird feeling paint. Yikes. So that's all the Halloween stuff that I see so far. That's like actual Halloween. The rest of it's more so just fall decor, which is still super cute. Okay, so now that we are back home, you guys, this is gonna be the end of this vlog. I'm gonna quickly give a recap of the things that we have purchased throughout this week of Halloween shopping adventures. Threw on my fun spooky Halloween shirt that I wore at the beginning of the video. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what we have purchased throughout this time. So when we went to the 
the mall. We went to Bath and Body Works, it had Sunrise Records, it had the Home Sense in it. I got these super cute towels from the Home Sense, which is kind of like Home Goods if you're in the States. Same idea. These are from the brand Lunafil, which I'm not even familiar with, but the brand looks super cute. If this is like an all year round brand that just so happened to have like Halloween stuff out, it's super duper cool. The tag is adorable. There's a little recipe in here for graveyard cake, which seems really fun. And just, yeah, the tag is adorable. I love it. These were $9.99 in case you guys are curious as to what the price was. So yeah, this is a little ghost here. It has a like button and eye kind of like clip for a fridge door or like a cupboard door or whatever, if you want to like hang that on there. And then the bottom of it is just black and white stripes, which fits with our kitchen vibe because it's red and black and white, which is really cute. There's one just plain towel and then one that has this little ghosty guy on it, which is super, super cute. They also had the witch ones that I showed in the video, but I wasn't super crazy about like the theming of them. If it was like just witches or just cats or just skeletons, maybe I'd be more into it. But like the cluster of everything together on the towels just didn't fit my vibe. So I went with these cute little ghost ones instead, which I love. So can't wait to use those. And then these bags here now are from Bath & Body Works. They're not from the mall that day that we went shopping. They are because I received a phone call from my girl, Jenna. If you watch my Bath & Body Works, like huge Halloween haul, you'll know that I became friends with one of the employees there who ended up putting a whole bunch of stuff on hold for me of the Halloween items that I requested. And because they didn't have everything in right away, she said that she would keep me on file in her contacts and then let me know when they received more things. So I got a phone call like the next day after we went shopping and she's like, just so you guys know, we received a few more of these items in that you wanted. And I was like, thank you so much. Can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. So I got Brandon to run out and pick these things up for me when he was out one day. And I'm gonna show them to you now so we can go over what other Bath & Body Works items we picked up because there's tons of good stuff in here. So in this small bag that we have here, there is one of my favorite items from the collection, you guys, is the Chihuahua Vampire Wallflower plug-in. So he is so adorable. If you guys aren't aware, Chihuahuas have been my favorite dog of choice since I was literally like five years old. I always remember growing up and wanting a Chihuahua. My entire life I've wanted a Chihuahua. I still, to this point, do not have a Chihuahua, but I'm hoping that I will get one soon because I need one. They're my favorite dogs. They're adorable. They're like little cats. I want to carry one 24 seven. Like I just, I need a Chihuahua. So because I don't have one, this is the next best thing, which is a fun Halloween Chihuahua, which is so cute. So here he is, cute little vampire Dracula Chihuahua. Um, if you guys can tell there, the price, it was $16.50. So he is adorable. We're gonna plug him in and have some scent. I don't think he does anything in terms of lighting up or projection or any, oh, it does say light up. I don't know what part of him lights up. I will insert a clip here so you guys can see what part of him lights up because I don't even know yet at this point, but we will learn together and we will see. If you guys can hear it, my cat is going crazy right now because she has a spring. She's making so much noise. It's midnight right now. And so of course she needs to like play and have all the attention. So congratulations, Sarah, you have the attention of the audience. Thank you so much. So yes, anyways, this is the cute little Chihuahua wallflower plug-in, 1650, definitely worth it. And then they also have there this Vampire Blood Room Spray, which smells so good, you guys. I'm obsessed with this. Again, the Vampire Blood scent is, let me see, I will tell you exactly what the notes are because now I know. It is Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Transylvanian Plum. So that's very exciting. It smells amazing. I love the packaging for this as well. It's the same packaging as what's on like the candle and the sanitizer. And it's bats, you guys. If y'all don't know, I love freaking bats. They're so cute. And this smells amazing. So it's definitely gonna be one of our like go-to room spray scents. I mean, we don't have enough candles and incense burning all the time, I guess. We need room spray as well. So with this item here, because it was $15 or more, I had a free body care item. If you spend $15 or more, you get like a free $15 body care item. So the body care item of my choice that I had chosen was this pumpkin pecan waffles body lotion. This smells so good. I think I got the pumpkin pecan waffles shower gel in my big Bath & Body Works haul because that was another free body care item coupon that I had. But this is the body lotion. So obsessed with this. It smells just as good as the moisturizing shower gel. It's delicious. I love it. Can't say anything bad about it. It's amazing and it's free. So I mean, why not, right? Get all the kind of fall Halloween scents that I can and it's amazing. And then in the next bag here from Bath & Body Works. So this was on the weekend. This was just a couple days ago. We had went to Bath & Body Works again because there was a candle sale. Yes, that's what it was. Candles were on sale for $18 each instead of like $26.50 or whatever they normally are. And then again, we had more free body care coupons. So it was like, we bought two sets of the candles. So it was two candles, $18 each. We got four candles all together and two free body care items. So I'm gonna show you guys the candles that we got now. 
This one that I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna be too aggressive with because I literally just had it burning and I totally forgot that I was gonna be filming this part of the video. So there's hot wax in here and I don't wanna spill it, don't wanna burn myself or anything. But I already showed this in my huge Bath and Body Works haul and one of my Halloween hunting videos when they first launched. It's the Haunted Night scent and it is amazing. It smells like a delicious men's cologne. It's Scary Clary Sage, Moonlit Mahogany, and Vanishing Verbena. And I'm obsessed. It's supposed to look like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper, which I mean, it looks very similar to what this is behind me, which is the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. And it's just beautiful. It's a great scent. I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up more of them. And I was waiting to get the candles until they went on sale. So that's why there was a weekend candle sale and I had to stock up on them. So that was our first one. And then the second scent here was Wicked Apple, which again, I've already showed this off in the other video, but this is Ghostly Green Apple, Creepy Caramel Drizzle, and Vicious Vanilla Bean. And it smells so good. It literally smells like, I was trying to explain to somebody, the, I don't know if y'all have them in the States or where you can get them, but they're like the green apple lollipops that have the caramel on them. I feel like they're only ever out at Halloween time as like Halloween candy. I don't know if they sell them all year round or if they do where they sell them, but they're like the green hard sucker lollipop with like the gooey caramel outside on them. And they're so good. And this is exactly what that smells like. Like you open up one of those lollipops and it smells like what this is. So I definitely have very fond memories of that scent. So I love this candle. So here is this packaging here, if you guys can see. It's cute little ghosts, some green designs, some little apples and stuff on there. It is beautiful. It smells delicious. I love it. And then the next candle that we got here is Pumpkin Carving. This may be, I think, my favorite candle of the year because it has the classic, like, Halloween pumpkin scent that I'm obsessed with. It's not just pumpkin spice latte or like pumpkin spice. It just is the fall scent. I don't know what it is. It's amazing. So the scent notes in this are freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. So maybe it's the sweetness of it, like the scent of pumpkin seeds or something. I don't know. It's just, it's so, so good. Every time I smell it, it's just like, ugh, it literally smells like Halloween night. Like if you guys are looking for like the perfect fall candle, I've seen a few people commenting on the Halloween Forever Facebook group and they ask like, what the perfect like fall scent is I recommend this one this one is so good and it definitely smells like the perfect Halloween scent so I love it so much I think it's my new fave for 2021 I don't know if it's a new scent or if it's a repeat from years previous or what but pumpkin carving is just like my number one go-to now so I'm definitely gonna have to stock up on more of these to keep the scent alive throughout the rest of the year once Halloween is over yeah it's amazing I've already burned all these as well because we've had them for a couple days but they're all delicious so this is what the top of them looks like as well, in case I haven't showed that yet. It's little spider web designs on them. Very, very cute. And then the last candle that we got here is Vampire Blood. So this is the same packaging design as what that room spray is with the bats and everything on it. And as I've already said, the scent notes for this are Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Transylvanian Plum. And this one smells, again, amazing. Just like the room spray, just like the sanitizer, just like the small version of the candle, the single wick. It all smells delicious. So I'll smell it for you guys on camera so you know. But we haven't burned this one yet just because when I was cleaning out my Bath & Body Works candle drawer a couple weeks ago, I found like a half burned one of Vampire Blood in the old packaging design, which I think I prefer, to be honest. It has like the vampire fangs on it and everything on the front of it. It's really, really cute. But this one's still adorable because it has the bats. I love it. That is the stuff that we purchased from Bath & Body Works. And like I said, because we had those coupons of the free body care items, we also received two free body care items for each $15 purchase. And for those ones, we just did these cute little Halloween minis. So they weren't the full $15 value that we could have gotten, but it doesn't matter because they're free items anyways. So this is Happy Halloween Vampire Blood 24 hour body lotion. And this is the Happy Halloween Vampire Blood Aloe and Vitamin E shower gel. And these smell, again, exactly the same as the candle, exactly the same as the room spray. Delicious, amazing, so good. I love the packaging on these because it is specifically Halloween. This has black cats on it and this has pumpkins. So they're very, very cute. And that is everything for Bath & Body Works purchases for this week. I'm sure we'll get more things next week though because we're back in there every single week. And then I think the last like items that we purchased that were like explicitly Halloween items, I guess, and they're not even like truly, truly Halloween. They're just kind of fall things, but they're cute. When we were over at that dollar store the other day after I got my vaccination, we stopped in and they had some fun Halloween, like fall decor items. So I just got a couple of these little pumpkin jars and they are so cute. They just have these little lids that fit on them and they're just like a hollow little empty jar. So I did wash these out. So you could put like sugar in them, you could put tea in them, you could put creamer, whatever you want to do. You could have them for like snacks or nuts or candies or candy corn would be adorable in this if you wanted like candy corn in the center of your table when you have guests over or something like that. If they even have candy corn out yet at this point, I don't even know, but I love them. I got two of them and they were like $1.25 each, so definitely worth it. And they're fun, just like centerpiece kind of decor items. That's what I have right now set up here on my dining room table with my 
witch hand little candle stand here and then my two little pumpkins around it. Very, very cute. Okay, you guys, and now that it's the end of the haul, that means that it is the end of this video, which is sad, but we are gonna have tons more Halloween content coming soon, so do not worry. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button wherever it is around me. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you can be notified every single time that I post a brand new video here on YouTube, which is gonna be quite a bit coming up soon because Halloween is gonna be here before we know it. And I am so excited. So definitely stay tuned for more Halloween spooky hauls, Halloween hunting, Halloween crafts and DIYs, all these things. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed for all this upcoming Halloween content gonna be great. So do all the things and until next time I will see you all very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye!